Hi, everybody. It seems I'm going to have somebody to be making this voiceover with me. It's nobody but Mr. Baby JJ. Everybody clap your hands. And guess who is clapping? It's Mr. Majesty. How old is baby JJ today? Three, three years old. Say three months old. Three months old. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video. My mother's in-laws visit has come to an end. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. Guys. Yes, tell them. Uh, I just want to go to airplane. Yeah. You, we already did. So guys, my mother-in-law came to help us in Dubai with the newborn. Now the newborn is big and it's time for her to go. We've been waiting for so long for this day to come. So many unforeseen circumstances happened. Baby JJ's passport, Majesty's passport, and so on and so forth. Waiting in Dubai to get baby JJ's passport is gonna take a long period of time. So we applied for emergency travel certificate for him. One day, Darko was booking our flight tickets. Guess what, guys? That was the day he discovered that Majesty's passport has expired. Hmm. After applying for Baby JJ's emergency travel certificate, he immediately begged the secretary, please, I just discovered that his brother's passport has expired. Kindly save a slot for me too. God bless that lady. She was so kind enough that she saved a slot for Majesty. The next week was Ramadan period, guys. Offices, government offices were not working. So we have to wait after Ramadan. God works in a mysterious way. Imagine we plan to travel to Serbia beginning of April. But because of this baby JJ's passport taking time, we postponed it. We were supposed to travel before the rain. But I was telling Daruko, wait, honey, maybe the children's papers will not be ready. And finally, Daruko put a date, 20th of April. Thank God this flood of a thing happened after, happened um, uh, before we traveled. Because had it been it happened on the day we were supposed to travel, tell me guys, did you see the wind, the storm and everything? But to God be the glory. So this is us packing our things. My husband was telling me, make sure you put everything that you need. I told him no problem. Since I have already started packing ahead of time, I will definitely get all that I need. I was telling him, hope we are all sitting together as family. I don't want when we get to the plane, I will be begging somebody, please, can you allow us to sit together? Darko was laughing. I said, yes, yeah, so... I have seen people on internet saying that people were begging them to excuse them to sit down, but they refused. Darko said, don't worry. I paid for all of us to sit down together. It was so beautiful to get to hear that. And my mother-in-law, I'm so excited for her because this woman, she has really, really tried. One of the reasons why she did not travel with her daughter was because her daughter was going to work. But since we are um, traveling together with her, this woman has been a source of inspiration to me. I pray that God has blessed me with an amazing mother-in-law. Will bless all of you too, one by one, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She was sick, she was tired, but she was still doing her motherly chores. Guys, it's true. They said mothers don't finish their work, even when they are old. Glad day that she was supposed to leave. Look at my clothes. She still washed my clothes and is folding them for me. Well, she has finished packing long time ago because she was ready to leave. But the only thing she was waiting for was for us so that we can travel together. And we cannot, you know, send her to travel alone because, guys, she doesn't know how to speak English. You know, so nobody can 
help her at the airport or whatever whatever so we ask her to wait for us so that we can travel together and guess what you know she doesn't need visa to be in dubai so her passport has um her visa uh, her three months stay has expired so we have no choice than to pay for overstay for her this is the d day we are planning to travel i'm looking so tired exhausted i did not even sleep the night before because majesty refused to sleep majesty already had a nap but he woke up late in the middle of the night so him trying to sleep again was a problem do you understand jj too refused to sleep because you know babies they don't sleep in the night so this affected me i was trying my best to make majesty sorry that i'm picking my nose i was trying my best to make majesty not to disturb darko since darko is going to be driving us to the airport and at the end of the day i got one hour 30 minutes sleep so the next morning darko woke up and wake me up i took shower i went to take some of my shampoos and other stuffs to darko to put in the bag and darko that morning he was so angry cranky he was like sweating and he was shouting shouting at everybody i'm like dude calm down why are you shouting at me am i majesty that you're shouting at me He's like, if you people will not bring the remaining things, let me put in the bag. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my goodness. Guys, I wanted to talk back at Darko. I wanted to continue argument because I love this argument nonsense. I told him, listen to me. If you're not going to calm down, I'm not traveling. He said, stop talking, stop nagging, just get your bags. I calmed down immediately because of my mother-in-law because Darko knows I'm very, very crazy. The reason why I come down is because my mother-in-law have tried. She really wants to go home. So, if she was not with us, me, I will cancel that trip. But I calmed down, packed the things. I came downstairs. Darko was trying to be nice to me. He was smiling. He has, he's no more angry again. He was now smiling. My love, how are you? I'm like, who is your love? You you, you told me good morning with shouts. Now you're asking me your love. Who is your love? I better come on for here, Jaren. So, this is baby JJ. It's going to be his first time to travel. Oh, my sweet little boy. But anyway, guys, in conclusion, Darko later, later apologized to me. He came, kissed me, hugged me, and was saying he's very, very, very sorry. Then my mood changed. Because if not, I would have been going to the airport with grumpy face. Oh, my gosh. I hope this baby will allow us to travel peacefully. Have you ever traveled with a baby before? What was your experience? I have never traveled with a little baby. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. But the Lord is my strength. So, we are waiting for our driver who will take this car when we finally get to the airport. But he was stuck in a flood in Dubai. But he followed another route as some of the roads were blocked. So we waited for him and a few minutes later, he said he's on his way. And this is us heading towards the airport.